They came with a hateful will to destroy humanity. We fought long and hard, but now we are lost, for they have taken their evil war into our past. Traveling through time, they have sown corruption, unraveling the fabric of our I just realized history. I was muted. Our last chance is to strike Welcome back. Thanks for the Seize two. the time crystals and turn their twisted weapon against them. The fight for survival has begun. Alpha base, do you copy? Over. Roger, you are clear to go. Proceed as planned and good luck. What's up, Evan? This is an old game. I don't know if you ever seen it or played it, but this game was part of my childhood in a big way. Well, the sequel was, because it was much better but uh, okay, my brother told me about this that it's on the Xbox the docking bay's clear. Go! it's I'm gonna be playing the story mode I don't think I'm gonna be doing the multiplayer mode unless people are in my house or I get people to play with me but the multiplayer mode in this game is fun it's just a silly first person shooter where you can like play as like dinosaurs and whatnot. Uh, the sequel is much sillier and even the story is much better. Well, obviously the sequel will have a much better story. But I've never played Time Splitters 2 or Future Perfect, which is the third one, uh, with, well, by myself. You go after them. Right. I'll hold them off here. Hey. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. So we got Sergeant Vin Diesel and Corporal Redhead as our protagonist, but. This time travel mechanic that they do in this game is really fucking cool. Uh... Do I want to try normal or hard? Nico meow if I should do hard. Because I want to play Future Perfect on hard mode. Cause... Doctor Who on crack? Nah! This is better than Doctor Who. So, the briefing. I don't really read these, but pretty much some weird shit is happening in a base in Siberia in 1990. He says, but knows he lies. I ain't lying. I wish there was subtitles to this game. Research center without security clearance. I'm telling you, I heard gunshots. They'll kill us if they find out. Come on, coward. Coward. Nikolai, the light. Stupid torch. You can make a personal dub out of this. Can you even hear what's being said? Is the game's audio going through? Oh. Ish. Okay. It must be too silent. I should bump it up. So, I don't know if you noticed, but that zombie was the same model as the guy. Yeah, yeah. This this is 
old timey, you know. It's all down to me now. I'm gonna pause it and turn up the audio. Shit voice acting? It's not that bad. In all opinions, like, in, in all honesty, it's not that bad of voice acting. Yet. That, uh, I mean, I hold this game pretty highly. This and its sequel, its sequel much more. Because I thought it was like some of the funniest shit. Uh Okay, okay. Options preferences. Uh Oh god, I forgot why I hate this. It's as loud as your voice. Okay. One second. I'm getting spammed on fucking Discord. Tales. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember the controls of this game. God, there's so much I forgot about times for this too. Anyway, when I was young, I believed in the philosophy that if you really loved a game, to show its most support, buy it on every console it's on, even if you don't own it. Uh, turn off inverse look, auto lo look ahead, aim mode. So I owned Oh, this is a fucky wucky. Trigger was aim. Right trigger is fire. What's white button? Okay, let's see what this feels like. Okay. Black button should be alt fire. Feels more like there we go. All right. Fucked with the controls, made them better.
Now let's see how hard this hey. game is. Oh, oh. Did he see me? Yeah, he did. How the fuck did you see me? Kill me. Hey, Nico. Yes, I'm sitting and you want attention. You big baby. Okay, crouch. Go, stop hitting the mic. You're a good little kitty cat. Alright. That's a camera up there. Okay, let's... God, just, I hate this kind of aiming system. What? Fucking serious? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. And then there's objectives I have to fucking do. Burn all the evidence in the filing cabinets, investigate the secret digging site, retrieve the time crystal. There's this one mission in the game that I fucking hate. It's all stealth, and as you can see, the stealth in this is kinda... piss poor. Especially with the really shitty aiming system. Preferences. Inverse look. Auto look ahead. I don't think there's a way to change it. I wonder if I hit a guy in the back, does it auto kill him? Fuck my asshole. Hey. No, no, you didn't see shit. Stealth. 
101. Bullshit. Why did it take that long to hit his head? Camo should be dead in one fucking bullet. Ricochets. How do I burn it if I can't fucking destroy it? Alright. Okay, this should be out of its range. It is. Okay. There we go. I gotta shoot the lens out. That's fun. Uh, how do I fucking deal with this? These fucking cabinets are ricocheting my bullets. So, I don't know if you ever heard of Golden Eye. Nope. Oh, yeah, okay. There's gonna be people coming in here soon. Where the fuck are they shooting me from? Where? 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 I was sniped? Okay, okay. So GoldenEye was a game that played sim really similar to this on the N64.
shit. No, I don't have time. Alright, alright, alright. Go, 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 yes. Okay, I just gotta remember where the camera was. Shit. stupid I Go. Some of that snip rifle ammo. Decide to play games not on close fucking difficulty. Try to. Okay, so there's a sniper. Fucking slut. Ruin evidence in the filing cabinet? <sighs> Please stop shooting me, you fucking bitch! There it is. Fucking four to go. I'm gonna assume I got all the ones in this small area. Alright. Oh yeah, I gotta destroy the dish, hold on. It's 
so weird coming back to an old game like this. God, if there's checkpoints in this game, or if I die, do I just go back to the beginning of the level and have to cry myself to sleep? Dead. Oh shit. No, no, no. There we go. Maybe exploding barrels might be a little bit... Are there any... Why don't they be filing cabinets? I wish they would bring this game back in the sense of a remake for the franchise. Okay. Have I hit a checkpoint? I hope so. Oh shit. My friends are dead, and I have no idea what caused it. Oh yes. Give me the AK, give me the AK, give me the AK. Sounds like boss music. It is repetitive, but I'm not, I mean, I feel like it's fitting though. Especially when you're playing on the hardest difficulty and just died like a chump. Please just die. Oh shit, they found me. Come on, just... Yeah. Let me 
me try to do this. Please just die. Fuck it. Okay, okay, uh... Move back like that. Yes, 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 yes. That's not what the animation was. That guy's not there yet. Okay. Got the sniper ammo. Two amps. Yeah. Uh, how do you add that? What am I doing? Um. I mean, the music in the second, in the sequel to this, the third game, is really fucking good. I don't know. I've never had a problem with this music in the game. Even sure, it's... Ow, fucking... Stop being a bitch! If there's anything I have a problem with... It's, uh... It's the controls. And the lack of checkpoints in missions. Like, even on an easy. Let's say I was playing this on normal. Me dying where I died just now, the furthest I got, would still send me to the beginning of this mission. Which the sequel, uh, Future Perfect, uh, course corrects. In the sense that, why do I not remember what these fucking cabinets are? Oh, that's dumb of me. Like, I had this game. Halo and uh, what you call it? I mean, Future Perfect Halo and like Call of Duty at once at one time, and I still preferred this game. I like the charm, the atmosphere, the I like its style much better than I fucking did any other first person shooter and coming back to this one specifically I can say god damn what kind of bullshit mental gymnastics do you have to play yeah I got the ammo not to say that this is a bad game playing this for 30 minutes on hard 
if I die one more fucking time, I'm just gonna fucking switch it to easy. I mean, normal. I mean, easy also works too, because right now I'm just fucking pissed. if I just play on normal. It's fine if I just play on normal. I have to tell myself that. Or else I'm just gonna kill myself. Now they're not taking just a whole clip anymore. We have stopped a problem. Ah! Fucking idiot. My objectives on easier difficulties. The activate the community just gets to things like retrieve the time to swim. Okay. My bonus objective though is now burn evidence, which I don't have to do anymore. Besides, the one I was talking about with the sneaky stealth bullshit has a really big bullshit mission objective and I, I don't even want to get into it because I don't remember it. I just remember that, you know, you fucking sniping little cunt. Touch the steam. I really like how the enemies react when you shoot them. Oh, 
There we go. No, 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 no. Like, when you shoot their toes, as you saw, he hops on one leg. And I don't know if it's in this game, but in Future Perfect, when you shoot them in the dick, like, they hold their dick. And it's great. Don't you fucking sit there and quote me. I like how I just react with pain when I shoot them with my gun. Uh, it's it's a nice little touch, you know? It's It adds personality. It adds character. It adds the fact that my gun... It, it feels like they're not just reacting to the bullet. They're reacting where the bullet hit them, you know? Like, he holds his head, even though that should ultimately be very unrealistic. Oh shit. Did he see me? I mind readed you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like when enemy go dead. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, no one. I've been here for almost an hour and. There we go. Let's see. Collision where I want it to be. Steam pressure at thirty three percent. All right. There we go. Why do you have full body armor? God, the the fucking difficulty spike from normal to hard is uh very oh noticeable. Let's 
so over the top when I murder them. Oh shit. Stop going back down. There we go. Find it, find it. Oh, oh shit. If everyone's dead, no one can catch me. I feel like I'd be really good at playing Hitman in this sense. Hey. Oh shit. You were about to say funny dialogue and I stopped you! My conda coat? Why did I do that? It said press! It would be. Oh shit. Oh no. That would honestly, that would be fun. Um, sadly, Left 4 Dead 2 on the console doesn't work that well with controller if I remember correctly unless it's left for dead one not just to find the game machine oh interesting hello silly said uh dude if it's two dollars get it Evan For the past hour, I've been trying to play this on hard mode because I beat it on hard mode as a kid. Then I just kind of got too frustrated with the controls and everything. Okay, that's armor and I can't pick it up because it's like, 
don't need it yet. Shit. Sliced bread. Fair. Yeah, but future perfect. Mm. Well, I haven't played that again yet. But I'm gonna once I beat this game. Just so that I can, you know, remember how perfect future perfect was. Who says I don't already got it? Also, hello. Alright. Yeah, Future Perfect is the better game, and but I mean this game is still really just hella fun if you don't look at the lack of uh, speaking of checkpoints. Oh my god, Evan, I used to play I Am Bread. That was a really, really early stream series I did where I would play it and I was really bad at it. And at one point, I decided to do something really stupid in it where if every time I lost a game, I would take a slice of bread, rub it on my floor, and just eat it. You, yeah, no, it was to encourage me to, you know, be better. Did it help? Not really. Fuck it. Yeah, exactly, bud challenge. Um, no, surprisingly. This was back when I was like 19, I believe. So, and I'm 25 now, so I mean. Oh shit! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. Um, yeah, I know. I tell everyone different ages. <laughs> oh, wait. Who the- wait. No. Yes. I am 25, and soon, Evan, I will be 26. Hey. Okay, let's just walk in here and... I'm no, no, I'm a hundred about to turn a hundred and five. That's how you, that's just how it is, Evan. Sometimes you're a hundred and sometimes you're a hundred and five. Yeah, exactly. Um, Let's look for this fucking key card now.
Wait, no, I think I remember. Possibly. Mashing things, eventually one will work. He's fine. A few bullets to the face doesn't hurt anyone. And my favorite gun in this game, the Tactical 12 gauge, which... Let's go back in too, quick. One thing I was talking about while playing Resident Evil 5 is I hate going the right way first. This looks like the right way first. You guys know in this game, if you shoot off a zombie's head, this in the sequel, uh, shoot off a zombie's head, and a miniature version of their head is there. Auto translated subtitles. I would wonder what mine would be at every fucking given second. <laughs> um, look at this. So this is. What I always believed this was is an x-ray of uh, a time splitter. Now it's nothing. There's still not. Retrieve the time crystal. Dinosaurs have about the same amount of teeth as humans, looks like. Yeah, right? Um. Man. The way Time Splitters have changed, because I played Time Splitters 1. Like, yeah, like the Berserk Splitters from Future Perfect. And, I mean, another fun little thing, if you notice, as you said, 
Time splitters have the same teeth as humans. Right? So, and we learned, seems like there's lots of types. Yeah, there are a lot of types of time splitters. Um, but we learn in Time Splitters Future Perfect, and I don't know if we learn it in this game too. Time splitters are just mutated humans. And I always find that a little bit interesting. Because we also, there's also the playable character that's half time splitter, half human. They are created, you know, by, uh, not Kalos, but what the fuck is his name? I mean, in Future Perfect, the main antagonist, I can't remember, uh, I can't remember his fucking name, but he made them. Alright, Evan, go do your laundry. Yeah. He was funny as fuck. I'm sad I forgot his name. He invents time travel. Uh, I... Fuck. Crow. Crow, yeah, yeah, Crow! Fucking, uh... God, Future Perfect is so fucking funny. This game is still fucking amazing. I, I, the controls are shit. No matter what anyone says. But, this game is still amazing. I wish Deep Silver, who owns the IP now, would fucking do a, a sequel or a remake of the series. I wouldn't mind seeing this game just be redone, or the story be like retold. As long as they keep the humor aspect of it in. Biohazard container at the digging site. God fucking damn it. 
I knew I was missing fucking something. Uh, I don't know if they reformed. I haven't looked into that, but I do know when you buy this on a... Like, buying this on the Xbox Store, even though if Free Radical has reformed, they don't own the rights to this anymore. There's, uh, people who do is do so. And then... There's also a Time Splitters Rewind fan project that's been in the works for, like, years. As, as I'm going on, I'm going to real quick check on my phone. Give me one second. We Radical. Yeah, okay. You're right. I found a little article. Claim Time Splitters franchise set to return at the reborn Free Radical Studio. The acclaimed PS2 a first person shooter is being brought back to life by a newly formed Free Radical design. Publisher Deep Silver announced today. Okay, so Deep Silver is still with her, uh, doing it with her. Development is set to commence in the coming months after the new studio is built. She carries the same name as the original Time Splitters developer, but it will be headed by these people. Deep Silver has been playing. Crowd work for several years. It acquired the rights to the franchise in 2018 and 2019 announced that it was working together with serious bit of Steve Ayers to help plot the future course for this franchise. Yeah, alright. So Free Radical is back. It's a deep owned by Deep Silver. And is incredible. Ooh, okay. I'm excited. I am super excited. That's that's some fucking good news. Alright. I have to go back to the dig site, which sucks, but that's fine. I was an idiot. I personally still hope for uh, a remake of sorts. Because that would be fucking fun. That's a shower. I gotta stop going in the shower. There's nothing in there for me. Nothing but disappointment. I've been playing this one level for a fucking hour. Uh, destroy the biohazard thing at the dick. Okay. There's a time splitter in there. That's a biohazard material. That's a little nice touch. A little like fucking time splitter in there. Oh yes, I have. Welcome back, Evan. Why there wasn't a special force? 
Activate. Yeah, the mutant character. That's half time splitter, half uh, human. I like the design of the tactical 12 gauge in this game. Oh shit, oh shit. One thing is, I wish I had a friend with me to play this with right now. That would be fucking fun. to the roof. <laughs> Big Tone is operation. Actually, I gotta quit here. There's some shit I gotta get done today. I did not realize the time. <laughs> but I will play more again. I'm excited. I really love this game. And uh, Sliced Brett, if you wanna appear again, I mean, follow if you'd like. You seem to be a fan of Time Splitters, and you gave me some really fun news, and I fucking appreciate the hell out of that. Thank you so much. And, uh, Evan? We'll, we'll talk more later, buddy. Anyway, I'm gonna go find something to eat, and then I have to go do some shit. And I hope you guys had fun. If you wanna catch my previous shit, uh... As stated, I have a, uh... Uh... YouTube channel by the same name of my Twitch. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. All my shit goes to uh, my YouTube eventually unless I forget to upload it. Thank you. Have a great time.